Respect the street vendor. Imagine being able to get up a store and bake and wrap hot dogs without breaking a sweat. Sounds like paradise. Unfortunately, not everyone considers that this is a good thing. My culture is a very dominant culture. If you don't do something about it, you're gonna have taco trucks every corner. You're gonna have taco trucks every corner. What? He says it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Food trucks and carts are as American as apple pie. If that apple pie had, you know, a churro crust. You can find them everywhere, selling just about anything your hungry little heart desires, from a $2 burrito, to a hot dog, to a pretzel, to tamales, to papitas, to elotes, to esquites, to tortas. And like so many great culinary trends here in the United States, you can thank the classic combination of Latino entrepreneurship and hungry, drunk people for getting it off the ground and on wheels. The Latino visionary was Raul Martinez, a Mexican immigrant. He held jobs as a traffic cop in Mexico and dishwasher in Los Angeles. But Raul's real passion was tacos, and he dreamed of sharing them with the world. His friends thought he was crazy, but Raul was determined to see his dream come true. One beautiful night in 1974, Raul parked a converted ice cream truck outside an East LA bar and began serving, what do you think? Oh yes, al pastor tacos to hungry patrons. Wow, this brings me back to the good old days. Raul was so successful, he was able to open more locations. That's how King Taco and the mobile food truck craze was born. And it's not just food trucks. Food cars are a Mexican and Central American tradition. These days, they bring out the Latino in everybody who Here's them rolling down the street. Saturday morning, I just think about getting on that ride mower, making those lines. I don't even care if the grass is grown out or not, I just love mowing it. I'm more of an AstroTurf guy, but I know what you guys are saying. El Tero! El Tero! These food trucks have served as a way for chefs everywhere to make innovative and easy to eat foods. The Refugee Act of 1980 brought a new way of Central American immigrants to the US, and street vending became a popular way for new arrivals to support their families. As more and more people, predominantly Latinos, got into the mobile vending game, storefront owners responded by calling for more police enforcement. Now, the good news is that communities began to fight back to protect street vendors. Eventually, after a lot of protesting, campaigning, and organizing, street vending was decriminalized in LA in 2017. 2017, we're talking about two years ago. And that's great news for the neighborhoods and the communities they're working too. I mean, there's obvious benefits to neighbors coming together to enjoy delicious snacks. And some people even believe that street vendors improve public safety by turning dark, empty streets into lively ones filled with well-fed people. So the million dollar question, how can you best support your local street vendors? First of all, Keep eating their delicious food, keep them in business. It's a win-win. And then write your local politicians urging them to legalize street vending in your areas and make it easier for folks to obtain permits. From the early tamales sold on sidewalks to the taco trucks on every corner, vendors have been feeding communities for decades. So the next time you hear the bells of the Alote Man, eat up and say, thank you. You are my hero. Wow. I mean, you know, I wish we had some straws here. I think yeah. it would be so much easier to just kind of, the, the plastic straws. Yeah, you know, yeah. I get the paper thing, yeah. but you can't bend it. You cannot. You know, maybe you instead of inventing new straws, we should invent new turtles. Turtles that can digest plastic. Funeral was great, though. Yeah, it was. That was a good time. You know, the deviled eggs Ooh. at the funeral? Ooh. 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 Yeah. The texture, so um, smooth. Mm. I love the smoothness mm. of a deviled egg. Gave me a little gas, but I agree with you. And I, they put a little pepper on it. Ooh. Not a fan of that. Hey, Keep classic. them plain and cold. Yeah, well, I put so much stuff in this stomach, man, it could take on anything. Oh. Anything. Speaking of which, you need one got any Tums? <laughs> <laughs>